Hey guys, it's Shell here, and I'm just making a quick little video. Actually, I don't know, this might be long. Um, this is completely unscripted, it's just something that I decided to do at the spur of the moment. This is a video about why I don't buy adoptables and why you may not want to either. If you don't know what adoptables are, basically they are just designs of usually they're designs of some sort of animal that somebody on DeviantArt, it's some it's a design that people sell and I'm not trying to like persuade people to not buy adoptables that's not my intention here it's just that there's a lot of things that you don't really get told about adoptables and there's also just my personal opinions that I'm gonna throw into this so yeah I just felt like making a video about it Okay, so first of all, this is a personal uh, point, but basically why one of the reasons I don't buy adoptables is that if you look at most of the adoptables, like this is DeviantArt, uh, if you look at the designs on DeviantArt, they really are kind of overly complicated. And not all of them are, not, this is a generalization, but a lot of them are either just unappealing to me or they're really complicated and they're gonna be a pain in the butt to draw so why would you want to buy a design like that that's just gonna be really complicated to draw especially if you're gonna be animating it like you just don't want to buy a design that that's complicated so there's that and then also I don't really have a connection to characters that I would like buy Usually, I look for a strong emotional connection in a character, and when I look at other people's characters that they've made, I don't know, I just don't usually get a strong emotional connection to a character, and some people do, and you know, that's okay. If you look at a character and you're like, oh, I need to buy that character, like, that's fine, go ahead, you do you, but I don't know, I just don't really feel a connection to a character unless I put my hard-earned time and work and everything into it. I don't know, it just feels more personal that way, but maybe I'm weird, I don't know. I just don't get a connection usually. And also, a lot of times people just buy characters and then they don't do anything with them. Like, <laughs> you're like, oh, this character's nice. So then they buy the character, and then it just kind of sits there for a really long time, and then they end up reselling the character. So what was the point of buying it in the first place, you know what I mean? Like, if you're just gonna sell it eventually, then don't even buy the character. It's just a little annoying. I don't know. That's not really a point about why not to buy adoptables. That's just something that's that's like a pet peeve of mine. Um, and also, some people just look for designs that specific people make. Like, they're looking for, oh, I'm, I'm looking for an adoptable or an ad a design made by X person. And I just think that that's really silly. Because, like, why? So, you assume that because this person made it, it's automatically going to be a great design? I think that's a little silly. <laughs> and also, people ridiculously overprice adoptables sometimes, and the designs of adoptables can be pretty expensive. Like, I've seen ones that are over a hundred dollars, sometimes they're like three hundred dollars, and to me, I would never pay three hundred dollars for a design. Some people do, and I've also seen the argument that, uh, to the person who's selling it, that design is worth $300. But the thing is, is that nobody else is going to buy, is going to pay $300. Just because that design is worth $300 to that person or how much, or however they're selling it for, just because it's worth that much to the person doesn't mean it's going to be worth that much to anybody else. You know, so I, I don't know, because a lot of times they price it higher because of the emotional value that they have invested in it. And I say, if you're that emotionally attached to a character, why are you selling it in the first place? I don't know. I just think that that is also a bit strange. And people will pay $300 for an adoptable. And I mean, if you're willing to 
pay three hundred dollars or one hundred dollars or how mu- however much. Sometimes it's, it's usually not three hundred dollars, but some of them are, are at least forty dollars. If you're willing to pay that much for a character design, uh, go ahead. You know I'm not gonna stop you. you. That's your thing. I I don't. I'm not gonna judge you. But personally, to me and to a lot of people, I think that that's just kind of unrealistic. Like I could pay. I don't need to spend $50 on an adoptable when there are so many other things that that $50 could get for me that will probably be more useful, especially if this design is, again, going to just be stored away and not used. Because half the time, I see people buy designs, and then they don't even use them. And they pay, like, a really good amount, like, 50 at least $50, like... I don't know about you, but I'm poor, okay? I can't afford $50 for a wolf design. I don't care how much emotional value you have invested in it. <laughs> and I'm sorry, maybe that's maybe that's just me. Um, but I don't know. And also, this, this is like my big point, um, is terms of service. People who sell adoptables, I didn't know this until recently, and I think a lot of people don't realize this, is that people who sell adoptables, they have their own terms of service. And a lot of times, these terms of service can include things like being able to revoke the character design from you after you have bought it. And to me, that seems really ridiculous. I don't know. I'm Again, this is completely opinionated, but I when you buy something, it's yours, okay? Yes, that person made it, But when you, for instance, say you're selling a painting, okay, when that person buys the painting, you have no longer, you no longer have access to it, okay? It is theirs. Even if you made it, you have given it away. You have sold it to that person. And I don't know, just having that in your terms of service that you can revoke that character seems really sketchy. So I don't want to personally buy a character that I might eventually get emotional value and have have it like part of my story or do this or that, and then I mess something up and then they're like, oh, you know, actually, um, I'm not gonna let you have that. Like, why? That's that's kind of just mean. I don't know. And also, people will say things like, you can't edit the design after you've bought it and to me like what even because what use is a character design for you if you can't edit it you know especially if you're going to use it in a story or something maybe there are going to be certain scenarios where oh i don't know x character gets in an accident and they get a scar you can't have a scar on that character because it changes the character design and that's against that person's terms of service and then you add the scar and then you get the character design revoked from you completely like I don't know, that's just really weird to me. And some people are 100% okay with that. I am not okay with that. Uh, So that's that's just, I, I, I don't like that at all. Personally, I think that if I wanted a design, I would have it custom made. If I couldn't make the design myself, which usually I make my own designs anyway, but if you're somebody who for some reason can't, design whether you don't have the artistic ability or you just really don't feel like it and I get that and you commission somebody to design I would I would commission somebody to design it for you instead of just buying a design I would commission somebody who's taking like custom designs tell them specifically what you want so then you don't have to mess with this whole editing the character design because I think that's really silly But yeah, so this is getting actually kind of long now, so this was just a really quick rant, or not a quick rant, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to rant about this, and I'll probably put a speed paint on on this or something, yeah, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, I don't know, uh, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, I'm lonely, I'm poor, I'm working on an animated series that will hopefully happen in the future, uh, yeah, please support me. Thank you. Bye.